Hi, it's Maggie Davis, aka Mini Minx on YouTube and The Captain. Um, I just wanted to share with you this, oh, it's a gigantic um, junk journal. Um, I've actually bought the templates from Genevieve Designs. So this one is um, the Basically Amazing Foundations. I bought the Lightwood and Plain Printable Scrapbook album templates and I also bought the Basically Amazing Photo Mats Te in text and plain add-ons on printable photo mats. So I've showed it come when you get the templates you have to print them out obviously you decide what you want to do. Genevieve's got ones on her page on a YouTube and gives you some ideas. She's done D and my previous video showed you what I did with D. Um, this is size C. It is quite big and I, it is my favourite. I absolutely love it. It's like a big book. The size of it is, this is size C, it's nine and three quarters uh, inches in height and it's six and a quarter width and the spine is 2.5 which is roughly about six and a half centimetres. Now that's the four spine. She has got ones that's either two which would be half the size of that if you wanted a slimmer um, photograph album or scrapbook and that or that's the four. So most people use chip wood, etc., but I've used the card. It's not card, it's like the cereal box or something that came um, through Amazon, etc. So I've recycled um, that and then I've used my fa uh, some favourite papers of mine, which was Paris theme. And I've been to Paris and I absolutely loved it. So I decided to do my cover on that. So, and I've used black cord here and I've doubled it up inside um, here on the spine and that. Um, and I've added some beads in here um, to it just to make it funky and eyelets. Now for me, um, and I've used a black tie closure here so that it gets bigger. Now I decided, I started off on size C that I was going to make a photograph album. And I mean a big photograph album. But as I started it and I put in the spine bit inside and all that, the papers that I chose which is, which is a stack that I bought myself. I, I wasn't following Genevieve papers. I tend to not do that. I like to see what she makes and she gives you some brilliant ideas. So please check her out. But I normally use what papers I've got in my own stash that I've picked up. Sometimes I think um, Plima and um, things like that, the papers can be quite expensive. So for somebody like me, I just, if I see things on bargains, um, or in the works or etc I just buy them or in this case I decided I wasn't making a junk journal eh, sorry I decided I wasn't making a photograph album I actually changed it because I stuck the papers in on the spine I stuck them in and I didn't like it I felt it was too much eh, like these were purples and lilacs that I'd chosen I do like all that but I just felt it was too much on the photograph album on this for me so I decided I took them out I redid the spine and I decided to make it into a massive junk journal and I absolutely love it. Now, this is going to be for sale. Um, I'll be waiting myself an old, my own one next time round, but I've got three signatures in there and I decided, now let me see, I'm going to see, I've, these come out, so obviously I'm just trying to see where the centre is on one. I haven't counted all the pages yet, there is a lot. Uh, I'm trying to find the centre of one signature to see, to make sure, yes, I have, I have crochet thread them, it's very hard to see, I'm going to have to do it over here, I've put crochet thread in the middle, so that, roughly probably about the same amount in each, that is one signature that you can see there, that's signature one, this is signature two in the middle, and this one is signature three there. So the only thing that would stay, that hopefully would last long, is the cover and the insert on either side here. Um, you know, these I've made these side pocket there at the side with her and used some of her templates, the add-ons, the photograph mats in here. And the rest of it, I've used papers that I love. I've used pages from a magazine, coffee stain papers, um, I've printed out quite a lot, um, a stash, and I just felt that it's a cracking album, would make an absolutely beautiful gift for someone 
etc. And it's maybe too big to show in one go. And uh, someone gave me this a while ago and um, I think I bought something and it came with it. And it's like material type stuff. And I've thrown that in as well and I've just made a little card inside. So I think this would probably need to be shown in two separate videos, this whole junk journal. But it's to give you an idea um, of what you can do with Genevieve's templates. Now I'll just quickly maybe just go through some. I've added brads etc and photo frames. I've got some flip ups. I've got like this beautiful paper, wrapping paper, a coffee stain, some musical notes, um, pages. If you're a Led Zeppelin fan, I think that might be a Led Zeppelin book. Um, brand, some beautiful things like that. I've got stamping in it. I've got some tuck spots in it. Um, some paper bags with oh, ephemera in it. I hope, I hope you can see on that. And Oh, it is just massive. There's a list in it on each section. Um, beautiful paper stuff put in. And I really just think it's amazing. <laughs> exactly what Jen did when she basically made it. It basically made amazing foundations, um, printable scrapbook album and templates. And I think that is what it is. The, what you can do with this is quite impressive, actually. And if you were given this as a gift or something... I've just made that myself. Two sheets, coffee stained, a circle, punched out two circles on top, half them, glued it on, and it gives a little, you put pictures or something on there, really. Uh, you add your own memorabilia, etc. on there, and I've made a top spot at the side. So I think you could do quite a lot with this. And I think as a gift, it's... So I'm just quickly showing you. If you didn't like a page, like, you know... Um, I had some books that are brand new and I decided that I was going to recycle them. They're just lying in my cupboard and collecting dust. Then any of the pages you didn't like, all you need to do is put a picture over them. It really is quite easy. Now, these are in another of Genevieve's templates. There were envelopes, etc. But I think when she brought these out, it was to go with this, these, tem these templates, the basic amazing templates. They were to sort of go with it. So anyway, I've just added in a few things, bits here and there, um, into this scrapbook journal and you'll get that with it. So I'm just, and I've put in some of these like card holders, see-through, and I've put a little bit of ephemera on some, a few, I guess it would take forever to go through, quite a long time to go through, I haven't even counted all the pages yet, but as you can see there is quite a lot in here. And, oh, isn't that just beautiful, that paper? Yep. So, I'll just quickly, whatever, and there is a weight in it. So this is the only thing about when I'm selling it or sending it to someone, you will have to pay the postage costs on that. That doesn't go to me. Some ephemera in there. How beautiful is that paper? That's absolutely gorgeous. Oh, you can see that on there. So, just quickly was going to keep this one for myself but I'm going to make another one. It's always great when you do your first one. I usually keep the first ones for myself. I've got a little bit of tissue paper on this on there which I thought was quite sweet actually like a photograph album. Some stamping. So yeah there is a lot. I'm just quickly going through it. So three signatures in here, flip up pages, etc. And on the back, I've got more of these big Genevieve templates. So I will be listing this in my um, Etsy, Minx Creations UK. I maybe have to do the video in two parts if someone wanted to see it in full depth, but you kind of get the picture that there is a lot in it. So many thanks for watching. Hope you have a lovely day. Thank you. Bye.